Why in a home period there? Why in a bandage in Uku every month? Ibu Father, we must pray for the church. Don't be involved in a homosexual, don't be involved in lesbian. I mean, God will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah was deep in homosexual. Only homosexual. The Lord said, I have heard about this city called Sodom and Gomorrah. He sent angels to go and destroy the Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham stopped them by giving them food. Without Abraham knowing that they were angels, after they pray for Abraham, that by this I may say you have a child. One of them said, What shall we hide this from Abraham? He has been so kind to us. That is why it's good to be kind to people. One of them said to him, Abraham, we are going to Sodom to destroy them. There is high level of homosexual in that city. High level of homosexual. And they to confirm it, immediately they entered the house of Lot in Sodom. Men of Sodom came to Lot and said, Lot, bring those men we saw in your house. Bring them that men of Sodom want to make love with them. And the Lord said to them, you can't commit this abomination. These are strangers in my house. I have two daughters that are still a virgin. Do let me bring them out. Do whatever you want to do with them. They are still a virgin. But don't touch this man for you to see how deep these men are. How deep they were in the homosexual. Barack Obama signed it. Like play, like play. The church is beginning to talk about blessing them. I pray that it will, from blessing them, one day it will not lead to wedding them. A man at church, I got Salah. This is the church of Jesus Christ. I beat my church and the gates of hell shall never prevail. We will continue to pray for the church. Ndocha Yagasoka. Homosexual and lesbianism is abomination. So disgusting. We have read that places in the Bible. If you are a homosexual or lesbian, what you need to do is to come to Zion. We will handle your deliverance and you'll be free from it. You will know that you will see that you will start having feelings for a man. God never created you to have feelings. From the beginning, he created the male and female, Adam and Eve. He never created Adam and Adam. But I wanted to touch it because so many people are confused. The Antichrist people are already spreading it everywhere. Oh, Pope have approved gay. He have approved wedding. He never approved wedding. He only approved their blessing that when they come to you to bless them, you can't deny them blessing. That is what he approved. He never approved that they should wed them by joining them together. But even this far, I still believe that it's out of pressure from people around because judgment will start from the house of God. So many people in the house of God are agents of Satan, agents of Lucifer. Lucifer have sent his angels inside the church of Jesus Christ. Okay, but only a kiss won't keep you. Why, Peter? A man, one man was telling me in America that uh, my daughter has been telling me, my daughter has been telling me, Daddy, Daddy, I want to bring somebody that will marry me. That they want to bring somebody that will marry me. That they want to bring somebody that will marry me. The man was happy. He he waited. He didn't go to work, waiting for her daughter to bring somebody that will marry her. So, was surprised her daughter came with another woman. It's not good to raise children in America, UK, Europe. I've been saying it. Most of you have lost your children, have lost your generation. Because you think, uh, you think, if you raise your children in America, Europe, Western world, is only few of them by the grace of God will have knowledge. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Most of parents have lost their children because you raise them. When they finish secondary school over there and abroad, you can't do anything. They know their right. They can decide what they want. There is nothing they can do. 
here in Africa, here in Nigeria, you can still flog your children. But over there, if you flog anyhow, even if those children don't call police, neighbor, they'll see it will call police on you. And the Bible says, spare the rod and spare the child. Your generation is off. I don't support our people raising their children from primary school to university in Canada, in UK, in Europe, in America. No. When they finish their primary school, bring them here to do secondary school. Let them know their culture, know whom they are. Many have lost. The, here are some homosexuals here in Nigeria and lesbian, but they are hiding. They can't be bold to sell it. They can't be bold to prove it. It is disgusting here. They can even stone them when they see you making love with a fellow man. But in abroad now, it's open. You can even see them on the street kissing themselves. Don't raise your children over there. In a nation, you cannot flog. If you flog them, if they go to school, they are checking them whether there is a mark on their body. Do you know how many of our people that government have taken their children away? Because the children complain that the mother beat them. It can't happen here. Do you know how many parents that have lost their children? They don't know how to speak your language. They don't know your culture. They don't even come home. Everything about them is in America. The day you die, you don't have generation again. Most of you are getting old. Just think very well. If you die, your wife died. It's over. Some of you, they will bring down to Nigeria to bury you. They may even come. Some of them that are busy will not even come out. Don't pamper your children. Send them to very good private schools here. They are not dying. Do you know how many of your children that are into homosexual now? Boldly, lesbian, living with a fellow woman. If, if, they are grow, if they grow up here, they will know it's abomination. Most of our people, the children that Igbo people have that cannot come back again is thousands and millions. The children of Ndibu, especially Ndibu, Yoruba people have their children in UK. Yorubas are more in London than even Ibu. But check all the whole Yoruba people, they speak Yoruba even in London. But our own people can never, few, very few, they still come to Lagos. I feel bad for our people. I know how many don't allow this message from holy father to discourage you many people have been discouraged many people in fact this is not what i plan to preach but i see that a lot of people are discouraged some people say they have approved wedding some people a lot of controversy statement a lot of controversial statement everywhere and that is why i need to readdress you he never approved white wedding. He never approved wedding. He approved that they can be blessed when they come to church. But not that they should be wedded like couples. No. But even to the extent of blessing them, I know it's out of pressure. Because there are some Lucifer in a white garment, even in the Vatican. Not pushing for homosexual wedding alone. They are pushing for women to be ordained priests. In the whole Bible, where do you see a woman, a priest? No woman has ever been a priest. Like a woman being in charge of the altar. This is the message I normally preach. I don't need to preach what you like. The word of God is, is meant for provocation. Jesus' 12 apostles, none of them is a woman. Before Jesus died, he would have given the key to Mother Mary, but he never gave her keys. He said, Peter, you are the rock, and on this rock I beat my church. The gate of hell shall never prevail. He said, Peter, I am giving you the key, and on this, on this, on, you are the rock. Peter, you are the rock. Have the keys, you are the rock. And on this rock, I build my church. 
So the church was built by the rock, which is Peter. From Genesis to Revelation, no woman has been in charge of the altar. I've never seen a place a woman is carrying the incense. Go and read the book of Luke chapter 2. A woman called Anna. Anna, the prophetess. Because a woman can prophesy. A woman can see vision. A woman can perform miracle. A woman can walk miracle. But no woman have what it takes. No woman have the supernatural what it takes. No woman have the dynamics or exosia or supernatural what it takes to be in charge of the altar. It's not done. Any woman you see that is in charge of the altar. So my people don't ever think that homosexual and lesbianism is right and is abomination unto God. Where, where we read says, I hate it. May God bless you. As you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Amen. Pass this message to everybody that homosexual and lesbianism is bad. And if you are into it, run away from such behavior and come for your deliverance. And God will bless you and grant your heart desires. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.